Hello YouTube friends, Tony here again and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, making your video look sort of like film or cinematic looking and um, I'm talking about tone not necessarily just the way it's framed up or anything like that. What what this, this video is about is uh, one of my friends asked me, you know, what can I do to make my video not look so much like it just came right off of a camcorder? Well, good question. Uh, you know, our camcorders really are becoming very, very good at, at representing the colors exactly as they are. Uh, this video here was shot with some Canon camcorders. It's me playing some guitar out in my yard, and I shot uh, myself playing rhythm first and playing uh, the lead. And, and, and so what I've done, I've kind of composited this. I, did, I don't know why I cropped this this way. This is an old piece of video I just pulled in. It, just, it was a good example to show tonal corrections on because there was some color in it. And, and you know, so I, plus I think I looked kind of red-faced and everything on this. And I thought, well, you know, a piece of music would be a kind of atmospheric thing to show tonal changes and how you could make your, your video look more like film. And I used to use some filters and still could, I guess, I just don't have them installed on my computer right now. But Red Giant makes these really great color filters that uh, can make your videos look like film. But Premiere Pro also comes now with just a whole lot of, uh, of effects down here for free. This is Premiere Pro CC that I'm using at the end of 2013. I've been in here, of course, since the new CC came out. So I'm going to go ahead and talk real briefly about this. They're called Lumetri Looks. If you've not played around with them yet, they're they're pretty darn cool. Um, I don't use them a whole lot. A lot of times, I just change my tonal colors with a fast color corrector. Or I change saturations and things. But I have to say, some of these are pretty handy, handy dandy little things to have. And you know, at first, when you put like what you do, you open up. You can either type Lumetri up in here, or you can just go down here to Lumetri looks, twirl us down, start looking at what's inside. You have a, like a bunch of cinematic looks. You have desaturation. You have these called style. Uh, and then you have temperature ones, which change. Just very, some of them are very subtle, what they do. Some of these mixes and things are just very subtle. But you can see as you drop them on and turn the, the effects on and off, kind of what they're doing. And it, it gives you a nice little handy guide over here on the side as to what you might be getting, you know, when you, when you click on these things. And let's see, like temperature. See, I think what we got here, when you click on temperature, it shows you the ones that are inside there. But now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create another video. And I've, I've done titles and all over here. Um, so I think it's right here. Let me see if it's not. And I have actually gone through and shown what each one of these looks does. So I'm going to, I just took a piece of video from a... Uh, a church reunion that I went to because it had some pretty decent color and I'm showing the original video and I'm showing what the Lumetri look does so I'm going to post that separately but I'm going to show you kind of how you apply these and, and just give you one and I'm going to do this very quickly let's say this one here I wanted to pick one of these you just drag like say we want dreams or whatever on top of this it's going to give you a really cra crazy kind of bluish color it's diffused um, you know, it's, it's throwing blues and stuff at it. You've seen this kind of thing in, um, in you know, like CSI or something when they're thinking back or in you know, science fiction shows or something. Uh, it seems like I saw some things sort of like this when I watched, uh, what was the Tom Cruise thing where his son got stolen at sci-fi thing, uh, Minority Report. They did some looks and things so, sort of like this. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go up here and click on it and delete it right now. Let's see. You know, but you can see there are various different ones. You just drag those over here. One of the things I think is fairly powerful about the Lumetri looks and how I've used them some in the past is is I will um, use them in tandem. So I don't know if even those of you who have used the Lumetri looks, have you ever thought about using more than one of them? Um, to me, that's kind of cool. Like for instance, this video here, I, th I think I'm kind of like I said, I'm sort of red faced. I'm, I think my mid tones might be just a, a little too harsh. So, you know, in looking at it, I might go down here uh, over on this side and find uh, something that would kind of desaturate mid-tones. I see mid-tones desaturation. You know, let's, let's, let's try that. Um, I'm going to throw that onto it. I kind of like automatically what that did. It kind of took that redness out of my face. Let's, let's turn it off again and you see what we got. There's the original and there's the, with the mid-tones desaturated. 
But then, you know, now it looks a little bit cold to me, and I'd like for it to look a little warmer, just I don't want my face to be red. So I may go down here to the bottom and find this, uh, like, warm gamma mix here. Let's try that and throw it onto it. And now all of a sudden, to me, this guitar piece of video looks really a lot better than what it looked like before. I can turn these off, turn the warm gamma mix off. And so there, there's what I had originally. I'll apply both of them again. And now I've got two nice color corrections uh, there that, that, that look pretty nice to me. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. You can hear a little bit of what's going on. Anyway, enough of my entertainment. You can go watch that video. I've got it posted. I think it's called Guitar in the Garden if you want to see it kind of how I jam on some acoustic stuff sitting out in my garden. Uh, the other thing I was going to show about this is, of course, all of these Lumetri looks. You can really surprise yourself uh, just by going into setup on these. Like, say, I go to this warm gamma mix, and I don't know, I'm just going to start adding something crazy to it. So where, where, how do you, how do, you do this? It, it wants you to look, go into looks and LUTs, right? So where is that located? Well, you go, you're going to have to go to your C drive to do that. And then you're going to have to go into program files, not the 486 ones, but the regular ones, since this should be 64-bit. And then go into Adobe. And go into uh, Premiere Pro CC. Here we go. And then you'll see Lumetri here. And then you keep on going to get the LUTs, L-U-T-S. I have no idea what this stands for. But, uh, and you know what? This may be that there's a lot of uh, different... Look, I don't know. Maybe not. I haven't actually gone in and monkeyed around inside these other folders. I've just gone straight to the lutes. So here are the lutes. And, you know, some of them look like, here says cube file ITX. Now, I am not an expert in, in how Lumetri looks, looks but the, or, or works, but they give you a whole lot of different stuff. And pretty much all of these work. You'd think, well, maybe just this one with the icons would work. So let's pick Alexa here. K, and, and, and yeah, I wish they'd give you some way to preview this better than just doing this. You can see here now it has totally changed this look to something that's not even down here. And believe me, you, you're going to find stuff in there that you don't even know what it is. Uh, like There's just way more here than there is in the, in the folder if I pick this Canon 7D UEX profile open. And now you're getting some kind of a very desaturated sort of look. Could be that there's some use for that. That's almost like making it look like a early evening or something like that. But I can go in here and just... And just any of these, uh, I've, I've gone in there and monkeyed around. That's overly, overly saturated. But you can find some crazy little cool uh, looks. See, once again, that's not bad. That might have done exactly what I wanted to do without even having this Lumetri midtones here. So, you know, there you go. There's just all kinds of different stuff you can do. And if you want to play around, you can find all kinds of crazy mess. Um, you know, you got the even the, the crazy day for night type stuff. I, I, I particularly like this is every, everything's gone again. I like some of these 60s and 70s looks. I, mean, I have that kind of nostalgia kind of thing. Here's 70s one. You know, that looks very much actually how the tone of some old films would look in the 70s. Let's undo that one. Let's go 70s two here and see what that looks like. Anyway, I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole. I've made this other video that does show all the looks. Go check them out. Play with them. You might be surprised what you're able to come up with uh, just playing around with Lumetri looks and totally change the tone and feel of your video. You know, a lot of what you see on television is like everything is run through, if you, particularly if you're watching the CSI series. New York has a bluish look. L.A. has its certain oversaturated look. Miami has that orange look. Um, you know, a whole lot of what you see on network TV is filtered big time. And they all have their own little set of color palettes that they use there to create the look and feel of their show. And so um, if you're trying to tell a story in particular, you might choose to, to mess around with the Lumetri looks. And then you might uh, decide to play around by adding different ones and combinations. Like here I've got 70s and cold overall. It's kind of cool looking, kind of different. Folks, cheers. I hope this helps, uh, has helped someone. Um, go check out the other video. I'll put a link of it in the description. I'll also probably annotize and add a link on this video here at the very end. Peace to all.